Okay, spelling group number three. Welcome back to spelling. I'm going to... Okay, sorry about that. I just got interrupted. Anyways, this is our words for this week. I'm going to give you eight today. Depending on how you do on your spelling test, I haven't got your spelling test back when I made this video. Then I'll decide if I give you um, a total of 15 or if I'm going to add some of the ones you missed. But we are on section N6. And the last word I gave you was young. The next word is pear. Now, this is not the kind of pear as in a pear that you eat or when you peel an apple, it's called pear and apple. There's actually three words that sound the same. This is pear as in I, la I have a pair of socks or I bought a pair of pants. In other words, it means two that go together, pear, okay? It's one syllable, pear. It's very slight, but you can kind of tell that there's, there's an A, two letter A that you may not use at the end of an English word. Pair. Okay. You have A, two letter A. The next word is faith. Faith. We must put all our faith in the Lord God. Faith. You're going to use A, two letter A, that you may not use at the end of an English word, and the S. Multi-letter phonogram. Okay. This has one sound. This has two sounds. We're using face, the first sound. Okay? Now, when I give you this on the test, I'm also going to give you one that you're going to write next to it. And that you don't have, you can write it in your spelling book right here next to it. It's faithful. Faithful. Two syllables. Faithful. Now, why do we drop the L? That's one word there, full, full of faith. Why do we drop the L? Because the rule says if you have one syllable, one vowel, you often double the F, S, or L. In this case, we have two syllables. It's not one, so the rule does not apply. Your next word is always. 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 Now, this vowel has three sounds. A, A, A. All. A, A, A. Sounds like the third one, right? I'm going to put a three there. We have an A, two letter A, that you may use at the end of an English word. And this consonant has two sounds. Always. Sounds like the second one. Z. And here, this word comes from the word all, but we drop one L because it's no longer one syllable. It's two syllables when we, when we use a, it becomes a compound word, okay? Your next word is steel, steel. That's a homophone, there's two steels. This steel is the kind that the, one of the commandments tells you not to do, thou shall not steal. You're going to use the EAA multi-letter phonogram. EAA, steal, it's the first sound. You don't need to put a one, just underline it. Now, when we talk about tenses, a tense is when it tells you if something is happening now in the past, it happened in the past, or is, hap is going to happen in the future. That's a tense. So if something happened in the past, we say it's a past tense. If it's happening now, it's present. 
if it's going to happen in the future, you say the, the future tense. So if, the, if I say, what's the past tense of steal? That means today I steal, yesterday I stole. So this is present tense. Past tense is stole. Okay. So I'm going to give you that one on your spelling test also. I will say, what is a uh, past tense of steal? And I'm not going to say stole. Here, I'll tell you, I want you your spelling word is steal. Then I'm going to write, I'm going to say, now write this past tense of steal. Okay? Now, that's this is the last word for this section N6. We're going to start section N7. Make sure that you write, you fold your paper in half. And you write at the top. Section N7 at the top of your spelling book. Number one in section N7, the word is mark. Mark. If you miss a word, I will mark it in red. Mark. You're going to use the R as in car. Mark. And I am going to erase these so I can continue. So if you miss some of these, make sure you pause your video and spell these correctly in your book. Mark. Your next spelling word is arrow, air, row, two syllables, air, row, that's a, it starts with a, 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 air, row. Okay. Now, I know that you're thinking this looks like R is in car, and it's not. So, in order not to confuse this for R is in car, we need to mark this. We don't normally mark the first sound of a syllable, but in this case, we do to different, differentiate it from R is in car. So, we're going to put the first sound, a arrow. And we have a multi-letter phonogram. Ow, o, arrow, it says the second sound. Arrow. All right. The next word has got a multi letter phonogram that does not say its sound. The word is blood. One syllable, blood, and it's using the u, a, o multi letter phonogram. U, a, o multi letter phonogram. And what do we do with words that don't say their sound? We put an X in it. We still underline it, but we put an X in it. Oh, I mean in it, not in it, over it. Your next word, the last one I'm going to give you, the word is front. Front. After you finish your speech, you will come to the front of the class and speak to your peers. Front. Front. The, this vowel has three sounds. A, o, u. Front. It says, it actually, it says a second sound. Front. Front. A, o. Front. It's saying its second sound because we have two consonants that tell the vowel to say its second sound. We don't need to underline it. Just know that that's why it's saying its second sound. Okay. So those are eight spelling words for you. I will correct your spelling tests from Friday, and if everyone did well, then I'm going to give you probably, let me see, I gave you eight, nine, I gave you ten, I'm, I'll probably give you five more words on Wednesday, and either it'll be new ones or the ones you missed, okay? So study hard, and we'll see you on Wednesday's video. Bye-bye.